Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. You may already know that when you import raw files into Lightroom, Lightroom does some pre-processing to those files. Now exactly what it does will vary from camera to camera. This specific image is a raw file shot with a Sony a7R 4 No processing has been done on it at all. I'll hit the reset button just to prove it. But if I go to the detail tab, you'll see sharpening is at 40 and color noise reduction is at 25. And again, I'll hit reset and you'll see that those sliders aren't moving. Those are the raw defaults for this camera. Also for this specific camera, it enabled profile corrections. And if I go to the basic tab, you'll see that it applied the Adobe Color Profile. Now I did not shoot in camera with the Adobe Color Profile. I shot in camera with the Sony Standard Profile, but Lightroom overrode that and put that Adobe Color Profile in there. Well, you could actually edit these raw defaults so that when you import images into Lightroom, you could have whatever settings you want applied, uh, pre-applied to that raw file. In my case, I want sharpening at zero when I import these images. Now, I actually did a video on this about a year ago, but since then, uh, Adobe has changed how Lightroom handles the raw defaults, and that video isn't pertinent anymore because they totally removed that way of doing it. To do it now, you have to go to Preferences. If you have a Mac, Preferences is under Lightroom Classic menu. If you have PC, Preferences is under the uh, Edit menu. So we'll open up Preferences, and we'll go to the second tab from the left, Presets. And at the very top, you can see Raw Defaults. And by default, it uses the Adobe Default Profile. Now we could change that, I mentioned. All right, let's just do that real quick. We'll go to Camera Settings, and I'll close that down. Now open up the basic tab and you can see we have that Adobe Color. Now I mentioned this was shot with the uh, Sony Standard uh, Profile. I'll hit Reset and you can see now it changed to Camera Standard. I have a second one over here shot on the same day, Adobe Color. We'll reset it. Now it's going to the Camera Standard Profile. So as it's set up now, whenever I import new images into Lightroom, it's going to use the Camera Standard Profile. But there's a lot more you could do here. I mentioned I want that detail tab uh, to be uh, zero for sharpening. Well, let's go back up to preferences and let's look a little bit deeper into this uh, raw default section of the presets tab. Now, again, I had that at camera settings. Let's put it back the way it was. I actually could override this uh, for specific cameras. So let's say you shoot more than one type of camera. You could have one camera set up one way and the other camera set up the other way. Uh, so you could just click right here and I could have my, uh, let's say Sony do camera settings. And then I could have maybe my Nikon Z6 do Adobe default settings or something like that. Also, if I had more than one Nikon Z6, I could show serial numbers and it would show the individual cameras I have, the indi individual Nikon Z6s I have. And I could have each of those set up differently. So you could actually drill down and have this very specific to the camera. Um, now, in my case, I'm, I don't, I, um, I'm just going to leave it the way it is at this, and we're going to do every raw image I import. Um, now, I mentioned that, again, I don't want uh, sharpening at whatever it was, 40. I want it at zero. So to do that, you have to go down here and use a preset. Now, there's a lot of confusion about this and a lot of people complaining about this. They don't want to use an import preset. This really isn't an import preset. It's a raw develop preset. It's different than your import presets. It sits, it sits in your develop preset, like, you know, tabs on the left-hand side, but it isn't um, an import preset. As a matter of fact, you could use an import preset on top of this. So it isn't technically an import preset. It's a raw develop preset. So we need to create this preset first. So let's uh, close this down. Let's reset this again so it's back to Adobe Color and go back to that second one and reset that so it's Adobe Color. Let's go back to that first one. All right, now really, all, the only change I want is I want sharpening at zero. So I'll put that to zero. Now, you, again, you could do whatever you want uh, too. Maybe you add, do something with the tone curve with every single image. Maybe you add vibrance to 10 for every single image. You could do that, all right? So just do all that right now. Um, right now, I have... Uh, sharpening at zero. I, I don't mind color noise reduction at 25. Uh, that's fine. Uh, lens corrections I want to apply, so I'll leave that alone. And I'm going to just use that Adobe Color Profile. 
So I need to create this preset. So we'll go over in the left-hand panel. And we'll go to presets, hit that little plus sign, create a preset. Now, what do you check? Well, you check what you changed or what you have different over there. So we're going to check none right now. Now, I did color noise reductions at 25, so we'll check that. Sharpening um, is at zero, so I'll check that. And lens corrections, right? And I'll leave um, profile unchecked. That way, whatever I do change in that box in preferences, that will be honored. So, no, so it won't, the preset won't alter that. So I'll just leave that alone and uh, we'll give it a name. And I'll just call it uh, raw defaults. Okay, and we'll keep it in user presets. And we'll click create. All right, so we created this preset, uh, this, this raw default preset. Now uh, for this image here again, before we start changing anything, let's go back to here and let's hit reset again. So that's at 40, all right, so we're back there. Now let's go back to our preferences. And uh, we're going to use this preset now. So we're gonna go down to uh, user presets, raw defaults. Now again, I could override this and use it for specific cameras, but I'm just showing you how to do it globally for everything. And we're gonna go to raw defaults. So we're gonna close that down. Now, let me open the detail tab out. See this reset or this uh, sharpening at 40? I'll hit reset. Now it's at zero. I'll go to this one and I'll hit reset. And it's at zero. It also, I must have screwed something up. It changed the camera standard. I probably should have checked that box in my preset for treatment and profile and I didn't check it so it went to camera standard but that's okay you get the idea now of how this is done uh, so if I go back and just double check something here and uh, do, where do I want oh I want to go to preferences um, yeah just uh, my raw defaults thing now if I could I could edit my profile or edit that preset I'm sorry so what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll go to Adobe color for that and we'll go to our preset right click on it update with current settings and then what we're going to do is we're going to check treatment and profile as well and click update all right now uh, if i go to the second one which has the camera standard profile and i click reset it changed to adobe color all right so i just wanted to make sure i didn't totally screw up everything but that's it so that's how you do it. Now I mentioned that this is a raw develop preset or a raw import preset, I should say. It's a raw import preset. It will be applied to every raw file you import. Um, now it doesn't get applied to JPEGs. No pre-processing is done to JPEGs or TIFF files or PSD files. It only gets applied to raw files. And um, when you import the raw files, it is just automatically done. You don't have to go, let's say, to the import dialog box, all right, and go on the right-hand panel and go to develop settings. You do not have to go here and go to user presets and go to raw, to raw settings. You don't have to do that at all. It automatically gets applied to every raw file you import. And as a matter of fact, you could apply a different develop preset if you want. It will get applied on top of your raw default preset. So the raw default preset gets applied first and then uh, your develop preset on import will get applied on top of it. Also if you're tethering it gets applied first when you tether and if you're using a develop preset preset on your tethered images um, it will apply be applied after this. So it's really different than an import preset. It's not the same thing. Uh, it's a raw, uh, raw default preset is a better name for it. Also, if you auto import images, um, it will get applied to your auto import raw files as well. And it, you could then again on those apply a different develop preset when you auto import those as well, if that made sense. So it really isn't an import preset. It's just a raw default preset. I think that's a better way to put it. So that's it. I hope that made sense. It's a little convoluted. I do admit the way they do it now. Even I made a mistake uh, when I was trying to get this profile set up the correct way. But you get the idea. That's how it's done. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>